This is a VN the Daily English News Service about to work on Preston Road today, 9th of January 2017. For me, your daily host, Sajid Jalal saying, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Headlines from a VN. By the help of RB News, two Rohingya women raped by Myanmar military in Mongjirang village, Posirang Township. While Rohingya Muslims are ethnically cleansed, Obama quietly lift sanction on Burma. Buddhist hotliners stop Myanmar Muslim ceremony. News in detail as follows. Two Rohingya women from Mongji Tong village truck in Butirang Township were raped by the military of Burma, brutal government, today. January 8 of 2017 at 12 noon, soldier from Light Infantry Unit 564 raped two Rohingya women from Mangirang village truck. The women were 45 year, years old and 35 years old. One was gang raped by two soldiers and other was uh, raped by one soldier, according to the local villagers source. On January 7, 2017 at 11 a.m., a Rohingya, a 20-year-old Rohingya youth named Fayyaz, son of Nazir, was arrested by soldiers from LFU 564 and Border Guard Police and was taken to Police Battalion No. 3. He was reportedly tortured while he was in custody as authorities tried to extract information about weapons they believe Rohingya were hiding. Fayyaz reportedly has no connection to any weapons or fighting, but the security forces were reported to have continued to abuse him while he was in custody until he finally told them that there was a hiding place with the weapons by a river nearby to make the torture stop. Today on January 8, 2017, at 10 a.m., Fayyaz was brought in handicap to the river located in Minna hamlet of Mongji Tang village struck by soldiers from LFU 564. When they arrived, there was uh, obvious that Foyas had made up the location earlier as he was trying to make his torture stop and he jumped into the river to try to escape but was caught by a village and handed back to the soldiers. He was beaten severely on the spot. While the world remained distracted by President-elect Donald Trump's derange and his President Barack Obama has quietly lifted a set of sanctions of the Myanmar government last month. The MOP represent a major step toward the normalization of relations with the regime openly involved in this destroying one of the most marginalized groups in the world. Over the past four years, the Burmese government in shout with xenophobic Buddhist nationalist movement has committed severe atrocities against a minority Muslim Rohingya population, displacing thousands and clip, claiming the lives of dozens of innocent civilians. In the recent spot of violence, human rights groups have accused the Burmese army of having conducted a campaign of rape, killing, and arson against the Rohingya. Regarded as a co courageous champion democracy and human rights by Western elite, Burmese State Councillor and Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi banned the use of the term Rohingya last year in a last in a clear attempt to appease anti-Muslim elements in the country. The Obama administration announced on December 2nd the, the lifting of a ban that previously whitened American aid to the Buddhist majority country, receiving close to no coverage in mainstream press, justifying the move by asserting the country had made substantial improvement in improving human rights. The claim is perplexing considering the ongoing violence on South against the Rohingya people. The American business lobby is also desperate to see trade sanctions removed wherever possible, according to the John Gore, director of Southeast Asia at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, told the Financial Times that white with fear free and fair election taking place and, and allegedly free media trade sanctions were no longer applicable. Hardline Buddhist nationalists stopped a Muslim religious ceremony in Yangon on Sunday, witness and organizers said as a 
Islamophobic tensions boil over amid a bloody military campaign against Rohingya in northern Rakhine State. Dozens of people led by a handful of maroon roped monks uh, marched to the YMCA in a Myanmar's commercial capital to shut down a service marking the Prophet Muhammad's birthday. We have celebrated this festival for my full life. Now this seems like an attack on freedom of religion, Cho Nang, Sukari of Ulama Islam organization told AFP. The monks tried to stop the ceremony without saying what we had done wrong. Why are not authorities taking action? Witnesses who asked not to be unnamed said the monk walked into ceremony shortly after it started dem demanding it be shut down. Police were called but did not intervene to stop the hardliners. The monk Ming Vice President of the Festival Organizing Committee said but these nationalists were trying to steer up political dissent against the NLD government led by Aung San Suu Kyi. He said that religious extremists supported the military backed USDP party and see the new elected government which took power last year after winning the first free election in some 250 years, so being too soft non-Muslim. We had the festival here for seven years without any violence, but today it happened. This is because of political interest, he told AFP. So this is for today from APN English News Service. Thank you for watching our APN News. Please stay tuned for more of this. There is still to come more up next in every day as the way this is. Uh, please share and tag us by through the Facebook and subscribe us by through the YouTube. Thank you again. So welcome.